Now that we've installed our new oil seals, we can put the cartridges back in. You'll want to lubricate this outer o-ring and the seal itself. And then twist and push it on until it bottoms out. Repeat for the other two. Be careful not to roll the lip of that seal over and pop the spring off of it. That's why you lubricated it and twisted it as you put it on. Put the slinger rings back on. Inspect these O-rings and backup rings for any damage and replace if necessary. Put a little oil on those before we reinstall the plungers. I'm going to twist and push them straight on. Medium strength Loctite and reinstall the plunger nuts and torque them between 115 and 120 inch pounds. Wipe off any excess Loctite that's left over. And we can begin reassembling the head. Next we'll put the valves back into the head. We'll want to reassemble these with the spring in the cage first. And then we want to face this pop it in this way. And then snap the seat back into the cage. We'll put our valve o-rings back in. Drop the valves in, push them down straight, you want to make sure that it's not angled in there, or when we run the valve cap down, you don't want to crush that cage, so we'll make sure that that's straight up and down. And then on these valve caps, inspect the o-ring for any damage and replace if necessary. And torque these valve caps to 85 foot pounds. Okay, now we're ready to reinstall our new packings and packing retainers. First thing we'll do is install the high pressure cups into the head. And what you want to do is put some oil on these cups and make sure that this groove is facing the head. Push it down into the head. Repeat for the other two. Groove facing the head. Okay. Now the rest of these packings and retainers we'll actually put onto the plungers before we put the head on. So take these retainers and put the outer o-ring on them. Slide those on. Put oil on that on that o-ring. And then the next step will be to put these seal rings 
and these O-rings into these retainers. So put some oil on the sealer ring, push that over the plunger, put oil on this O-ring, and then take this washer and put it on. And we'll want to push that O-ring over the sealer ring until that washer bottoms out. You may need to use a piece of pipe or PVC. And repeat for the other two. That sealer ring, put some oil on it. Push that onto the plunger. Put some oil on this O-ring. You want to be careful not to distort these rings. If you crease it, throw it away and, and put a new one in there. Okay, the next thing we want to do is install the low pressure seals into these cartridges. Helps to put a little oil on the outside. And then this groove on the cup faces up towards the tapered end of the retainer. And then push that straight onto the plunger. Next, put your backup rings back on. And now we can reinstall the head and torque the bolts. Reinstall the Allen bolts. Torque to 170 inch pounds. Now that the pump is completely reassembled, turn the crankshaft by hand and make sure it turns nice and free. Refill the crankcase with 26 ounces of 30 weight non-detergent oil and be sure to reinstall that vented dipstick. This has been the 2400 series Powerline Plus plunger pump. For additional information, visit us online at www.hyperopumps.com or give us a call at 1-800-468-3428.